in this concluding part of the sniffer programming video tutorial using raw sockets i'll teach you how to use some of the pre existent sniffers which have been written by other people this comes in handy first of all to verify while you're programming your own sniffer that if you can decode the packets properly secondly in very complicated scenarios it is tough to implement all possible protocols in your own program so in some cases you can just use these other sniffers written by other people and get away with doing the job now in this tutorial i'll discuss two sniffers one is tcp dump and the other is ethereal let's start with tcp dump do a quick man on it and you see the tcp dump dump traffic on a network so prints out the headers of packets of a network interface that match a boolean expression the inputs to tcp dump basically the important ones are the minus i interface which tells tcp dump which interface to sniff on and the minus s snap len which actually tells tcp dump what size of the packet to display and of course finally is a filter expression there is actually a huge documentation so after this video i would advise you to go through it the important part lies in understanding how to construct the filter expressions so this is where it is expression select which packets will be dumped so this is some sort of a filtering which happens and as you can see there is a whole lot of filter requirements which are there here so stuff like ether dest e host e host here is the mac address of the destination host which you want to sniff on whose packets you want to sniff sorry source host host so actually you could write src host 192.168.0.10 or if you just write host and then the ip address then immaterial whether the packet originates or is destined to that host the output will be printed so just have a look at the man page and let's now go ahead give you a quick demo put the snap length to be zero then we tell it to be very verbose in whatever output it's putting and when you do the minus xx option this means print the entire packet in hex and ascii both along with the link headers everything so currently let's mention some filter expression let's say arp and let's generate some arp traffic by actually pinging some host so host does not exist so maybe we can just ping 10 right and then what we could do is we could ping 12 so as you can see that we can see the arp traffic because of the buffering etc there is a slight delay now uh, in tcp dump dumping these packets so because of the ping what happens is when you do ping see now you can see a lot of arp traffic so whenever you do a ping and at that time your computer does not know the mac address for example we try to ping 0.12 and if you look at your arp cache the mac address for 0.12 is not available in which case an arp request is made by your computer so that is what we are trying to catch i think uh, the host itself has made many other arp requests and so here it is so arp who has 192.168.0.1 tell 198.162.0.10 etc etc so you can see the packets have been put forward and here is the time stamp when the packet was received so you can subtract this and get the subsequent packet time difference and here is the 
as sky dump so because all the characters are unprintable hence you see a dot here so you could actually play along with this filter quite a lot now make it something more descriptive and let's say you want icmp right then we generate some icmp traffic let's ping 0.10 because we know it's there seems to be some lag for TCP dump to print the packets ok so here we go it's actually printing a lot of packets at the same time maybe it uh, has some logic to wait so here you can see that 192.168.0.9 which is our computer right is sending an ICMP eco request to 0 0.10 and here it is ICMP eco request and to which the 192.168.0.10 is replying back to us with an ICMP eco reply uh, this is the hex dump of the packet and this is the ASCII item so as you can see in the end you have an ABCDEF etc etc so this is like a payload for the ICMP data section which is compared against so see a lot of ICMP eco and ICMP reply packets so the point really is that by mentioning various filters you know, there are filters for TCP for IP for almost every imaginable protocol in TCP dump you need to look at the man page and figure out which filter to put in there are other options you can log to a file you can save the packets to a file etc etc so this is a very nifty program which you can use from the command line itself and try and figure out what's going on on your network but as you can clearly see the program has a lot of limitations first of all because it's totally in text mode it is very tough to get a snapshot of the packet itself or try to make meaning out of every byte in the packet just by looking at this dump so to overcome this now we will go ahead and look into a graphical sniffer